shows off surprising maneuverability of the Sukhoi Su-30SM. One of Russia's latest fighters, the Jet is one of the largest and yet most maneuverable airplanes in the world. Watching the Su-30SM do aerial acrobatics is like watching a heavyweight boxer effortlessly pirouette. The Su-30SM is a descendant of the Cold War era Su-27, nicknamed Flanker by NATO. The new version, nicknamed Flanker H, is an updated version featuring forward canards, thrust vectoring engines, and a new radar and fire control system. The plane probably does have some low observable capabilities baked in, like the F-A-18 EF Super Hornet. But it's not technically stealthy. Hiding all of its weapons and fuel internally and shaping the aircraft to minimize its radar signature would have resulted in a long, expensive development period and basically amounted to an entirely new airplane. The other reason stealth wasn't prioritized during the design is that Flanker H came of age in a time when Russia could finally afford to spend more on defense it needed new, capable planes and it needed them ASAP. It made sense to upgrade the Flanker design and quickly crank out airplanes. Meanwhile, a parallel development effort for a true fifth-generation fighter, the Sukhoi Su-57, was begun in the mid-2000s. American fifth-generation fighters such as the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Joint Strike Fighter used their strengths in radar and stealth to detect enemy fighters early and set up an aerial ambush. Ideally they never get close enough to their enemies to even see them visually, let alone dogfight, instead sending them crashing to the ground with an AIM-120 Amram missile in their tailpipes. The Su-30SM is equipped with a powerful Bars R radar that the Russians hope will have some ability to detect stealth aircraft. If the Su-30SM can detect a stealthy opponent, it has an amazing 12 underwing hardpoints for air-to-air -air missiles and drop tanks. Launching a barrage of missiles from long distance, the Russian fighter can force enemies to take evasive action while it gets in close enough that its uncanny maneuverability can give the flanker H an edge in a dogfight. All of this assumes a few things, particularly that the Su-30SM's radar can detect stealthy enemies. If it can't, the Russian pilot is flying blind and will have a lifespan of seconds on a future aerial battlefield. But while the stealthy shape of American fighters is fixed, aerial radars can be upgraded to take advantage of the latest encounter stealth technology. Despite the impressive aerial acrobatics the Russians are placing a risky but calculated bet with the Su-30 SM and her stablemates at least until the Su-57 enters service in the early 2020s.